the church of Jesus Christ. While it's true that election seasons tend to magnify our nation's divisions, the deep divide has been apparent to most of us for many years now. The disagreements are not simply over policy issues. They are fundamental differences in worldviews. Historically speaking, there will be disagreements in any culture, but a culture has certain things that holds it together. Those things include a shared history, language, traditions, values, and underlying all of it, a shared religious outlook. That was certainly the case when America was founded. Of course, not every individual person was a born again Christian, but there was a shared moral framework that came from Christianity. This was not at all controversial. In fact, it was considered obvious and necessary. John Adams, who was a signer of the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and was our second president, famously wrote, our Constitution was made only for a moral and religious people. It is wholly inadequate to the government of any other. George Washington said in his farewell address, of all the dispositions and habits which lead to political prosperity, religion and morality are indispensable supports. In vain would that man claim the tribute of patriotism who should labor to subvert these great pillars of human happiness. A shared moral framework is not only necessary to a culture, it's part of what defines a culture, and it's also the reason that ours is currently falling apart. On the one hand, are those Americans who still believe that God's laws supersede our own, that he created us in his image, and that his declarations of right and wrong and good and evil are binding upon all of us. That belief produced our founding and provides the basis for our freedom. On the other hand, are Americans who believe that God, if there is a God at all, should only be personal and private and should not have anything to do with our laws, our schools, our government, or our jobs. This view says that we evolve through a natural process, and so everything is up for grabs, and we can remake humankind however we like. Those are not just two different ideas. They form two completely different cultures. That means America has a problem. These divisions are not superficial. They are deep and they are substantial, and it does no good to paper over them with flowery sentiments. If America is to be united again, it will require a change in worldviews, and that requires a spiritual awakening. We Christians have a key role in that. We must be salt and light through everything we do. That includes our votes and our service and our action and it includes sharing the good news of Jesus Christ that changes people's hearts. And at the most foundational level, it means we must pray. Pray for a move of God's spirit over this land, for the people to turn to God's law and to his design, and for millions to find the grace and forgiveness in Jesus Christ that transforms us and allows us to extend that transformation into everything we do. It has happened before, and it can happen again. But it begins with the people of God, you and me, humbling ourselves, praying, and seeking the face of God.